what's happening, man? What's happening? What's happening in New York City? We're being invaded by the kings of Los Angeles. My name's Jose here on this channel that plays all the sickest hard rock and metal in the world. And I've got one of my best friends. Good freaking band. Excellent band. And these guys are going places, man. I'm telling you right now. Please welcome to the studios Pepe, Tony, and Eddie from the band out of L.A. called King. Ooh. Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. Come on now, New York City style. Dude. We're hanging out here on a Friday. Yeah, we are on the uh, on the internet, on that online little device Building there, really. on your smartphones, on the all the apps and shit like that. But these guys are actually playing tonight in New York City at Fontana's, and um, they're doing their first New York City performance. Last night they played a little private showcase for uh, industry people, record labels, tour agents, uh, managers, and you know, I mean, a lot of bands out there want that opportunity uh, yeah. as you know you guys have worked so hard in all these years and tell me sort of describe the feeling to our north american audience here of playing in front of a bunch of people that have really never ever seen you or met you or know anything about you uh it was cool man because you know they had no clue what they were in store for you know and after after we were done you know just it was just super cool to see the, the the expression on everybody's face you know just a good vibe you know it makes you feel good to know that these people have never heard you ever you know what well, they have, but you know they're just not in tune with the king, and then they see it, and they're just like, "I get it." You guys no, were I nervous as fuck, though, because I was oh, nervous. Man, <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, definitely nervous. <laughs> Nobody likes to stand in front of around a bunch of suits and play for them. You know what yeah. I mean? So it's kind of nerve wracking, but you know we, we we gathered our thoughts and you know stuck together and made it happen. And we didn't know what to expect, yeah. but it was like really cool. Like after everything was done, like. It was way better than we expected. Well, it was sure. good. Well, I know, I, I know. I walked in there. My heart was pounding. My hands were all sweaty. My pits. I had paper towels in my <laughs> armpits. I was just trying to like, you know, keep myself together. Yeah. And then I walked in. I was like, "Hey guys, hey guys!" And I, I hope I didn't make like you dudes nervous in the beginning and shit. So it all worked out, dude. I was yeah, right in the yeah. front, and, you know, head banging, making sure that at least you know somebody in that room of like twenty five people or so was uh, with you guys and head banging it and knew sure. the shit that was going down. So right. I wanted to have a little sense of comfort. You yeah, know, totally. for uh, for the King Showcase last last night in New York City, and then we followed that performance up by going down to the Down Show. And uh, yeah. how was that, dude? That was fucking cool, right? Amazing, yeah, that was, man. That was, that was totally that was amazing. An awesome experience. I mean, we go from playing for industry people up to Best Buy Theater to see Down, man. I mean, back, I've back never to seen them fans, playing. man. We go Huge. from rock and roll cats to to being the fan, you know, fucking exactly. outside on the Dorky stage. Fans. Dorky fans. Yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. Singing every <laughs> song. I love, sweating. I, I love that when we were in that big ass long beer line and then you guys, the three of you, just started busting out singing well, Down yeah, lyrics, man. all these different songs and then, Lots you know, nobody else was doing that. You guys are the only ones, man. So, <laughs> it's fucking cool, man. And then yes. Phil, Phil fucking head uh, busted open, all the Bloody blood mess. everywhere. Wouldn't wipe it off. Yeah, it was Refused that dude. He's to a, wipe it off. He's a beast. <laughs> it was oh, awesome, man. man. We all, I know, we all fucking love Phil, man. Of course, and uh, you guys will learn to love King. who are in the studios right now in New York City, Sirius XM, Liquid Metal. My name's Jose. Thanks again for joining. So, uh, tonight they're playing Fontana's. They're, they're headlining the Man Cave Party at my house tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. uh, that's going to be exciting. We'll be, uh, we'll be back in a few minutes to talk more about that and what else you guys have coming up. But let's get into this track right now called Trails and Veins. And you guys kicked off your you know private little showcase in New York City last night with this track. One of my favorites, when I first heard this in rehearsals, I was like... Fuck. Just good, good chunky, good Sabbathy parts. Total Sabbath. Every, every, yeah. Everything just put together, man. I know all you guys are influenced by the power of Sabbath and it comes across in all your songs, especially, I think, in this one. For awesome. sure. Anything else you want to say about this song before we play it for North America? Do it up. <laughs> fucking play it. What were you going to say, Tony? I was going to say the same thing, man. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everybody enjoys it. Yeah, man. You can find out more information about the band online, kingband.com. Check it out. King Trails and Veins right here on Sirius XM Liquid Metal. Do it. 